I never chose to be misunderstood. I never chose to feel rejected or neglected. I never chose to be back here in Bakersfield. Like, God chose me. Like, that's the whole humbling part about this whole situation is. God chose me. He left the 99 to come and save me from myself. And there was a situation that happened in my life that pushed me that made me move my feet a lot quicker. But I was already on the move for Christ. And as he began to just show me things and reveal certain people to me, I had a decision to make. And it was either you continue to do Shantara or you follow me. And... I follow Christ. I want you to know that carrying your cross is a very, very heavy load. And because right now me and God are the majority, it feels really, really heavy. Like, really heavy. <laughs> It feels really, really heavy. Like he is showing me things and showing me people that is like, <laughs> it's absolutely breaking my heart. Like, seriously. <clears throat> it is absolutely breaking my heart. And I believe that what is happening to me is actually happening for me. And throughout this day, like, there is one thing after another piling up, one thing after another. And if I know anything about the enemy, <laughs> is he will continue and continue and continue to get you to stop get you to pull back get you to wave the red flag or the white towel or whatever it is but because of what God did to my faith throughout this situation I'm not gonna give up God has showed me and promised me so many things and I'm going to keep fighting and I'm going to keep believing until I see them come to pass. Being a vessel for God is not easy. A lot of people don't want to hear what you have to say. A lot of people don't, they don't want it. <laughs> they don't want it they want barabbas because barabbas doesn't require anything barabbas doesn't require you to look within yourself barabbas doesn't require you to repent barabbas doesn't require grace and mercy we are in a very very dark world the bible says that we are sheep amongst wolves and when I tell you that these people are nice, nasty, and 
it's all covered up with long skirts and lipstick. <laughs> it's covered up behind church doors. <laughs> In this moment, I think, <coughs> I believe that I'm going to take some time to back up, back off, not give up in my personal endeavors with God, not give up on seeking God, not give up, but I need to back up to gain the strength to continue to be a light out here in a dark world. I have to back up to continue to be amongst these wolves. I have to be strengthened up to deal with this. To deal with what he's showing me. And so, I'm going to take some time to just... <laughs> ask God for strength and ask him to be my comforter and to continue to give me the words as I yield my heart, I yield my mouth, I yield my thoughts, I yield my actions, I yield my body, everything in surrenderance under the Holy Spirit. So I'm being stretched like never before. I'm so uncomfortable leaving everything behind like a full time job like a new place like everything and so it's taken a lot even though I'm at peace with my situation I'm at peace you know it's just hard you know and it's it's uncomfortable and it's stretching for where I'm going in the next to the next level and so that's where the tears and the heartbreak and the heartache and you know having to cut off relationships and people that you really really love and care about is just <sighs> it's really really hard it's eye-opening people that you never thought. It's just hard. But in all of my tears and in all of what I'm feeling right now, I just, I still give God all the praise, glory, and honor. I thank God for the uncomfortableness. I thank God for the stretching. I thank God, you know, for the process because... He's going to fight for me. He's going to fight for you. We don't have to say anything. All I have to do is continue to say and do what he's asking me to do. That's it. He's going to fight for us. I don't have to do anything. Vengeance is his. And so with that, I'm going to just allow the Lord to keep downloading. I'm going to keep pressing. I'm going to keep moving forward. I know I'm here for purpose. I'm going to keep seeking God. And I pray to God that you do too. And when the time is right, I, the Lord, will do it.